Oh, Professor Clemens with you again. Uh, this relates to material in Chapter 22 of the OpenStax Physics College textbook. But in this problem, we'd like to calculate the magnetic force on an electron and learn some characteristics of its uh, circular motion and discuss that just a little bit. So we actually have a situation, an identified situation here. The electron is moving to the east horizontally at 8 times 10 to the 6 meters per second. We're given a magnetic field in the room that's towards the south and has a value of 0 0.025 teslas. The magnetic field is uniform every place the electron moves. Um, we have the same direction of magnetic field towards the south at 0 0.025 teslas. And we know that uh, the magnetic force, using the right hand rule, is going to be perpendicular to the velocity. That's going to generate a centripetal force. The magnetic force is going to generate a centripetal force and that will provide us with uniform circular motion. We want to calculate the radius of the circle that this electron moves on. Now first a couple of preliminaries. Looking at the uh, calculation of magnetic force, we would take the charge on the electron, the velocity of the electron, the strength of the magnetic field, and then multiply by the sine of the angle, where theta is the angle between the velocity and the magnetic field. Well, in this problem, theta is 90 degrees. So the sine theta factor will just be a 1, and we don't need to worry about it. Uh, the force on the electron will be the charge, velocity, and magnetic field multiplied together. Let's take a look at the right-hand rule. In my method of working the right-hand rule, first I would extend my fingers in the direction of the velocity. So with my right hand, I point my fingers towards the east. Secondly, I rotate my wrist so I can easily bend my fingers to the south. Rotate your wrist. Bend fingers to the south. When you do that, and your thumb is perpendicular to your fingers, you'll find that your thumb, if I just can even do a little bit here on the video, fingers to the right, rotate my wrist, I'm going towards the bottom of the page with my fingers, and my thumb is down. However, since Q is negative, I must reverse the direction of the force analysis and the force will be up. The right hand rule gives you the direction of force using your thumb for a positive charge. When the charge is negative, you have to reverse the direction of your force. So this electron is going to lift up out of the page as it starts off towards the east. Another important thing, again, this force is perpendicular to the velocity. This force is a centripetal force. So I have my um, situation here of the force being perpendicular velocity, and we get a uh, centripetal force in that situation. Okay, so let's go a little bit further with this. The magnetic force is supplying the centripetal force. The magnetic force is supplying the centripetal force. And we're going to work out now the uh, algebra, kind of the uh, statement here of what's going on. Magnetic force is equal to centripetal force. We know how to calculate the magnetic force with theta of 90 degrees the magnetic force is Q times velocity times B. Our centripetal force is the mass of the object moving in the circle times V squared and divided by the radius of the circle. So magnetic force expressed as QVB, centripetal force MV squared over R. So let's solve this for R. I'm going to multiply both sides by R I'm going to divide both sides by Q, V, and B. So 
I've multiplied both sides by r, and I've divided both sides by q, v, and b. So I just have r remaining on the left side. <coughs> in addition, there are two factors of velocity in the numerator, one factor of velocity in the denominator. And now we can go ahead and use the values. We're dealing with a proton, or sorry, electron, 9.11, 10 to the minus 31 kilograms. We're told the speed of this electron, 8 times 10 to the 6 meters per second. We know the charge of the electron, and I don't worry that it's a negative charge. Uh, we've already handled the negative sign by uh, virtue of our right-hand rule. That's the magnitude of the charge on the electron, 1.6, 10 to the minus 19 coulombs. And then we have our magnetic field, 0 0.025 teslas. Mass of the electron, that's the object moving in the circle. The speed of that electron, the size of the charge on that electron, and then the magnetic field uh, size. I put that into my calculator. I came up with 1.82 times 10 to the minus 3 meters. And 10 to the minus 3 would be on millimeter. So 1.82 millimeters, fairly small circle. The proton is light, fairly easy to make it move in a uh, small circle to change direction. Well, oh, that's an example of uh, analysis of right-hand rule. And that told us if we put our fingers in the east direction, rotated our wrist, we could easily then bend fingers in the south direction when our thumb was pointed down. Again, the thumb is perpendicular to the fingers. Because the charge was negative, we had to reverse our conclusion. The force is directed upward. Our thumb is pointed down, but because the charge is negative, the force is upward. This force is perpendicular to velocity. It is a centripetal force. The magnetic force is creating the centripetal force. We wrote out QVB equals mv squared over r. We multiplied both sides by r to cancel off the r over here. I'm not going to clutter up my page, but uh, divide by QVB on both sides. And we end up mv squared over QVB. One factor of v cancels to make our button pushing on the calculator easier. We cancel that off. And I came up with 1.82 millimeters. Again, you should pause the video and check uh, this with your calculator. Hopefully, we have the same answer.